Hello and welcome to creating complex rhythmic events with maths. This is Illumination Station. This patch exploits the fact that maths cannot re-trigger during the rise portion of a cycle. Channel 1 triggers channel 4, and channel 4 affects the rise time of channel 1. To begin, molt the end of rise from channel 1. One of these molts can be used as a trigger or clock source, and the other is going to be used to trigger channel 4 of maths. Setting a rise and fall time of channel 1 to around noon with a linear response will yield good results. Similarly, setting fall time of channel 4 all the way down is a good place to start. Here I'm going to use STO through the Optimix with the other molted trigger signal striking the Optimix so that we can hear what the rhythmic events are doing. Yep. And just get that sounding nice here for purpose of demonstration. You know, whatever. Um, and so now we're going to take the unity output and I'm going to run that into channel 3 of maths. Um, you could just take the output from the channel 4 attenue inverted section. However, I like to have that signal still present on the sum bus to modulate other things. And here you can see the clock is beginning to do interesting stuff. Adjusting the rise time creates different rhythms as channel 4 is acting as a crude clock divider of channel 1. The voltage coming from channel 4 is therefore affecting channel 1 and adjusting the amounts of time between each pulse. Having the channel 3 attenue inverter inverting provides good results. This clock can be used to trigger something directly, like in this example, or it can be used to step a sequencer. Sequencing the rise parameter of channel 4 allows for even more complex rhythmic events. Different sequencers will respond differently to complex clocks. Some will be able to step easily, any analog sequencer for instance, but some digital sequencers might respond in unexpected, possibly exciting ways. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative and that you might use some of these in your own patches. Please feel free to comment and link any videos in which you've used these ideas to create interesting and complex rhythmic events.